Welcome. I'm from Chicago, uh, sweet home Chicago. It's a great city, great, except for all the murders. Uh, as if parenting in 2012 wasn't tough enough, you try doing it in this violent city. It's, it's an awful environment to raise children. A seven-year-old girl, uh, that's how old my twin daughters are, was shot recently at a homemade lemonade stand outside of her house. This little girl's name was Heaven Sutton. And this show tonight, I do for her. Let's look at some numbers. Now, the numbers don't lie, as they say. I actually wish they did here. Here we go. The murder rate is up 38%. Since the beginning of the year, there have been more than 280 murders in Chicago. Our mayor, Rahm Emanuel, his solution, a plea to the gangbangers. When questioned about the murder of this seven-year-old little girl, Heaven Sutton, he, he said it's about values and asked the gangbangers to please stay away from the kids. Stay away from the kids. This is not about just crime. I'll take the responsibility of what we need to do. But if you think this is not about a partnership, if you do not think this is about a set of values, near a child, how dare you? Uh, partnership and values. This, this is the same Rahm Emanuel that worked for Bill Clinton. And at that time, morals, they didn't matter. But now all of a sudden, yeah, morals, I guess morals do matter after all. Don't stand next to a child if you think you're going to get shot at. That's, uh, that's, that's going to work. A plea to gangbangers. Um, can he ask him to say please and thank you at the same time? Look, I I'm not trying to be funny, and, and I guess it would be funny if I didn't live there. Uh, you know, these sound bites are all fun and games, and the social engineering, it's all fun and games until innocent people get killed. And I don't think appealing to gangbangers, uh, to their good manners, is going to work. So what will work? Well, we already have some of the toughest gun laws in America. I feel they violate my Second Amendment right to protect myself and my family. And the gangbangers don't care about their stupid gun laws. So innocent people continue to get killed. Let's get some answers. Right here, right now, I want to go to our, our great panel. Joining me, Harvard Law grad and editor of AboveTheLaw.com, a uh, leading site for legal news. Here he is, Ellie Mistal. Yay. <laughs> How you doing? And uh, from Chicago, my home, here is a uh, liberal radio host and Fox News contributor, Santita Jackson. And then we have British political uh, commentator. She has strong views on uh, gun control laws. This is Imogen Lloyd Webber. So let's get going. Uh, gangbangers appealing to their uh, to their good nature. Ellie. Yeah, look, every time something goes wrong with gun laws, it's uh, like an excuse for us to not have gun laws. We don't do that with other pl places in our law. We don't say like, let's not have traffic laws just because people in Boston don't know how to drive, right? If you want to deal with gangbangers and their gun violence, one of the best ways to start is to go and take all of their guns. Of course, some people wouldn't yeah, but, agree with that. But I, I don't have people driving their car into my living room and, uh, and, and, and having their way with my wife and stealing my stuff. I can't. I mean, I have people driving my living room. I could, I, I could protect my family if, if uh, my liberal mayor would let me have a gun to protect myself. I, listen, I really believe this. If, if I could protect myself, these gangbangers, we, Santita, right, these gangbangers are looking for an opportunity. If they think you can fight back, it'll stop the violence. Let me have a gun. Let's good, let good people have guns and the violence will stop. It's a wonderful thought, but the studies don't prove that out. I mean, the fact is, I think we've got to look at the violence in the culture. The fact is, Jan January 8th, 2011, Gabby Giffords is shot. That's happened 60 times since mass shootings. You can have your laws. I believe you need to have your guns if that's what you want. I don't have one, but if you want it, you got it. No problems. The Constitution is a living living, breathing document. You can have that. So why can't I have a but, gun in our city? No, but what I'm saying is this. Yeah. Do you need an AK-47 or an assault yes. rifle? Yes. No, you do yes. not. Yes, land no, of the free. No, land you, of the no, free. No, no, you're not free to shoot something out of the sky. I mean, come on. An airplane? I'm not shooting out of the sky. I'm Man shooting. Man, cow, you don't need that. That's what Mr. Holmes had. And you know what well, he was on, able to order? On. Four guns. There's a, four there's guns. A, no, wait, wait, wait. 6,000 rounds There's of a big ammunition difference between some creep going into a movie theater and killing people and me protecting my family. No, no. And a gang comes in as a gang. You do not need a machine gun to do that. And so, wait a minute. But I should have that right if I want to protect my family. Absolutely. No, no, no. In this but city you know where, what? Okay, have your rights. But you know what? No one might marry to this whole discussion about rights, responsibilities. You have a responsibility not to kill people. I not have to, a responsibility. To, no, no, no. I have a responsibility to protect my protect. wife and protect my well, children, and I can't do that. Mr. Holmes was not trying to protect anyone. He was not. He walked into that theater to kill, and he was successful Santita, at it. Santita, Santita, how about this? 
What if I had been in that theater with a gun legally and I could have stopped it? I would hope that you would have been on the floor well, protecting your family. Hold on. C c certainly, certainly, certainly. We're not saying that the way to stop gun violence in this country is to arm everybody in some kind of weird escape from New York death match, right? You know, like, Ellie, surely that's Ellie, not where we're trying Ellie, to go, right? Ellie, that's exactly what we're trying to do. No. That's exactly what I think. No. Abso guys, if you give good people, you don't, you don't take light away from darkness and hope that darkness behaves. Shine some light in there. Let me protect my family. Let more good people fight back. These guys are looking for opportunity. But it, but just take that away from them. Guns, guns don't give you light; they give you a spark. Imogen, you don't have. You don't. Do you know what guns are? You guys have sticks <laughs> yes. in England. You, yes. Your cops as, have sticks. As a result, 51 yes. people died in Britain last year through guns. 51 people. Um, do you believe in vigilante justice? Is this what you're saying? What's your definition of vigilante justice? What is your justice? definition, man? Gale? Are we talking about Chuck Bronson going after the uh, the bad guys? Yeah, I guess I'm okay with that. I really am. You you really are. We this Spider-Man uh, doesn't use a gun. And listen, he seems to listen, be able to this this to do um, all right for San, himself and protect Santita, his family. Look, look, Santita and I share the same neighborhood, and she'll tell mm -hmm. you if she's going to be truthful here today, she would tell you. If I'm going to be no. truthful, fifteen, what? I, I 15 minutes. I live on the south side minutes. of Chicago. You don't live on the south side Fif of Chicago. South side. Fifteen south minutes. Side? Fifteen minute <laughs> response time. Fifteen minute response. Time in some cases when you call 911. 15 minutes. You can do a lot of rape and killing and stealing in 15 minutes. Okay. My wife doesn't have that time. Our kids don't have that kind of time. I need a gun to protect myself. Absolutely. Yes. There are also bigger issues here. It's about yeah. the American dream and these problems in Chicago is a lot of people feel they don't have access to that dream anymore. And it's the problems of lack of education, of poverty, and so forth. And yeah. fundamentally, these people are without I went hope. To public and it's, it's and bringing that. Wait a minute, guys. I, I, I went to public like, schools and I didn't have. We were poor growing up, and I, okay. we weren't killing each other. That's true. There's more to know, it. Let me There's tell more you, to you're it. You're right. Dennis Blair, who headed up our intelligence agency, said at the beginning of this great recession, the greatest one since the Great Depression. Well, somebody yep. used the D word. He said, "This will unravel our social fabric. We will." So, have, what's the answer? Throw well, more money at it? Is, no, well, don't throw money. You give people jobs. My money. You throw know, more money. You know, no, no, no. You give, give people, people jobs. You stop, wait, but you stop. Let's buy air conditioners. I've heard that too. Jobs. Midnight basketball. It's not working. iPhones are made at a great profit. All these murders in Chicago, and it's not even. It's not even one of the most violent cities in America. I want, I want to put up this list for you guys. I think it's startling that the most dangerous cities in America, look at this, nine out of ten of them uh, are Democratic. Come on, guys. This can't just be a coincidence. This has nothing to do with Democrats. It's a coincidence. Democrats it's, a coincidence. It's, it's the coincidence that Democrats tend to win elections in bigger cities with a more of a poorer population, while Republicans tend to win, win elections in smaller cities with more rich people around. So that, are you, that makes are a lot you of saying sense. that Republicans don't kill each other, but Democrats do? What? No. It's just a coincidence. I, Cal, shame. It's not a coincidence. I, I, guys. I, Cal, this is a transpartisan issue. Shame on you for bringing partisanship into this. this is, there is no appreciable difference between Republicans and Democrats. You and I both know that this is about corporate corporatism versus populism. Who I don't mind corporations. Wait, wait, wait. I want no, a, no, 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 no. I want no. There, let me, there let me is finish a my okay, thought. I think that the people need to weigh in here, and that is not yeah. what we're hearing. This is not about Republicans and Democrats, because you know but we it have is. the same. No, I, it is. Not Republicans not. will let me have a gun to, to defend myself, and is that would stop crime. Violence? You but, don't want to talk about violence in America. This is what I said. There have been 60 shootings since Gabrielle Giffords. We want to look at Chicago, but you don't want to look at that. Well, let's look at the top 10 cities here. No, no, no. This They're is all democratic. This is not where the mass shootings have occurred. These, these, these come, I believe, from FBI statistics, and they mm -hmm. say that it is a false way of looking at them by looking at them through cities. It's simplistic. Okay, so what's, what's the way to look at, to look at it? What's the, through what's Republicans the way to look at it? and Democrats as well. Okay. Fundamentally, mm -hmm. there are some big problems that need to be dealt with. You live in an amazing country. Thank you. You've got a fantastic political system, but it's all to do with checks and balances. And to get to grips with the big problems in this country that involve addiction, that involve education, that involve poverty, will mean Republicans and Democrats need to come together Imogen, and work Imogen, together. Uh, with all due respect, you're, I mean, and welcome to America, but I've, I've grown up with this. I, I, I've you heard are. this rhetoric my whole life. More money for this. More, that's always the answer. More money for everything. It's not working. But you are so. Oh, no, no, no. I think we. Look, no, no, no. I'll, I'll tell you what. Mankow, it has worked before. When we had white on white crime in the 1890s through the 1930s. When, the 1890s. No, no. Yeah, wait a minute, because yeah. we had an explosion of violence in Chicago. That's why we had Jane yeah. Adams and Hull House and the president weighing when was in this? and coming. This was 1890 through 1930. Jane when, Adams. No. Uh, you've heard of her, Hall. Yeah, that wasn't the 1800s. Isn't that when it took like eight minutes to load a weapon in the first place? No, 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 no. <laughs> they threw money at our cities. They had a plan yeah. to get people out of poverty and out of the ghettos. That's what they did. We just need that again. Money. Let's go back That's to money. 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 That's always people. the answer. Value Look, people, why do I think democratic cities are more violent, guys, where there is no vision, people perish? Vision, morals, values. It doesn't matter to these politicians anymore. They laugh at 
people like me that believe in God, guns, and guts. These things are outdated. Well, a fish rots from the head down. And we have rotten leadership in this country with no uh, morals. So when they preach morals to us, it's laughable. Democratic-controlled cities, sorry, they are more violent.